Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, I wanted to do another giveaway and this time I'm gonna do things a little differently to hopefully make it more fun. I'm gonna combine the giveaway with a challenge. Now the challenge is gonna be simple. You're gonna go out, you're gonna mark off three targets and try to predict what each one of them is gonna be before you dig it. For each one of them that you get correct, you'll get an entry into the giveaway. You're also gonna get an entry just for participating. Now the, uh, the prize is gonna be this MindLab ProFine 35 Pinpointer. This is the one with Ferris Tone ID. Uh, I actually did a field test and review several months ago, which I'll put a link to down below if you wanna check it out, but really good pinpointer. Okay, I'm gonna have a few rules just to keep things fair, but before we go over those, I just wanna let everybody know that if you'll stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna do a demonstration on exactly what I'm looking for. The rules are, number one, all three targets must be different. In other words, you can't go out and dig three pennies and get a, an entry into the giveaway for those. You'll have to dig three different targets, a penny, a dime, and a quarter, or whatever. Number two is you, once you turn on the camera, it has to stay running the entire time. Now, it's okay to mark off the targets before recording to you know, cut down on video runtime, but you have to keep the camera running once you start it. Okay, number three, call out each target number and prediction before digging. In other words, once you start your video, you come to your first target, you're gonna say target number one, then your prediction. Target number two, then your prediction. Okay, rule number four is all targets must be at least an inch below the surface. We don't want any surface finds. Okay, number five, you must live dig all three targets and the video must clearly show the reveal. Once you get the target out of the ground, hold it up and show it to the camera so the viewers can clearly see what it is. Okay, for the bonus, if any of your three targets turn out to be silver or gold, you're gonna get one extra entry into the giveaway regardless if you got the ID correct or not. So you stand a possibility of getting five entries. One automatically for participating, up to three depending on how many targets you get right, and then one more if you get silver or gold. And once you're finished, be sure to title your video NWGA Target ID Challenge and post a link to it down in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now I'm gonna run this for, I'm gonna run this for exactly six weeks from today and I'll come back and we'll let random.org pick the winner. We'll feed it all the entries and the more entries you have, the better chance you have. All right guys, here we go. NWGA Target ID Challenge. Uh, I've already got all my targets marked off. I'm gonna start with this one. up 1343 on the CTX. I'm gonna call this one a copper penny. All right, target number one, copper penny. Okay, there we go. And it is a copper penny. Okay, we'll give the camera a good look at it. All right, on to target number two. I'll come back and cover this up better once we're done. One for one. All right, target number two. That's ringing up a 12-12 at two inches on the CTX. That's right in the nickel and pull tab range, but I'm gonna call it a pull tab just because it's so shallow. Let's 
seems to have disappeared on me. There it is. And it is not a pull, uh, pull tab, it's just a piece of foil. All right, on to the next. I'll come back and cover up that hole. So one for two. And this is target number three. This is ringing up a 1445 on the CTX, and I'm going to call target number three a dime. Got it out of the hole. And there we go. It is a dime. And that's actually a silver dime. How about that? That's going to be a mercury dime. Don't have my glasses with me. All right, guys, that's how you do it. 